keeping in mind that we gotta keep it two meters distance, jump rope is the best exercise for this because you definitely can't cuddle while jumping rope. And you can still maintain pretty much a two meter distance. There you go, guys. So, if you ever wonder what is the best exercise for keeping your COVID distance, it is definitely jump rope training. All right, man, let me show you how this is done. So, the cat's cradle is actually very simple to do as long as you follow four very simple steps. First step is to make sure you understand the side swipes. Pulling the rope to the side. Still making the rope move, right? Just making sure we keep the tension in the rope. Next thing you wanna make sure is you understand the toe catch. One, two, three, and catch with the toe. So the toe catch is very simple. All you're gonna do is raise your right foot up. If you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, probably gonna raise your left foot up because you're more likely gonna pull down to the left side first. Let's go down, one, two, three, four, toe catch, boom. That way we've stopped the rope. There's no more rotation going on. Now what we have to do is get the rope to move backwards. So we're gonna kick. So let's practice that. One, two, three, four, catch. Make sure there's tension on the rope and kick it away from you. When you kick it, you'll notice that you're gonna create another loop going up and away from you. When you're moving forward, the rope is going down. Catch it. Now the rope is gonna move backwards. Catch it. Now the rope is gonna move backwards, okay? So we're gonna go back to front ways. One, two, three, four, catch and kick. Okay, that's how you're gonna do there. Make sure you keep your hands out in front of you so when you kick, boom. The ends of the handles are right here. So after you kick it, the next move is to make sure that you cross the hands in front and that's gonna create the loop. That's what we're gonna go into. Catch, kick, cross. Catch, kick, cross. So you make sure the ends of the handles cross over each other. That's gonna ensure that you're making another loop. Catch, kick, cross, right? Now, if you've kicked hard enough, the rope is gonna come up in front of you. When you change the angle of pivot, you're gonna make sure they cross over here, and then you're just gonna push the handles up into the holes that you've just created. Watch it one more time. Catch, kick, cross, loop. Whoa! Let's do that again, nice and slow. Catch, kick, cross, and loop. There you go. We're gonna slow it down for you nice and slow mo X. Ready, Jesse, Minty, slow it down. We're going to catch, kick, cross, and loop. The important part at the end there is to make sure that you push the handles up and then pull them apart and that's gonna create this cat's cradle cross at the end. Left, right, left, right, catch, <laughs> kick, cross, and loop. Push it up, you can catch it in the forearms, you can catch it at the elbows. Either way, man, you're gonna finish that move and you're gonna look just like a boss. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four, catch the toe, kick, cross, loop. And there you go. And that's how you master the cat's cradle. And then when you finish, little extra special note here, cross cradle, little extra special one here, left, right, left, catch, kick, cross, drape it, and away you go. And that's how you do the cat's cradle cross. All right, guys. And that's how you do the cat's cradle catch cross. Catch, catch, kick, cross, and away you go. Over the shoulders like a boss, and then you walk away.